Hello and welcome to some Battlefield 4 live gameplay. We're playing on Hainan Resort in the attack boat, going for a bit of a nostalgic throwback to a map that I really, really enjoy in the attack boat. And this is why the TV missile... You always get these kills, it doesn't matter what you do. You are always guaranteed to get kills on air vehicles on Hainan Resort. It's quite a small map with lots of vehicles on it, lots of air vehicles especially. And I can't even seem to get out of my base because I'm getting pinned in by some, what I think is an attack boat in the distance. Air vehicles don't stand a chance against this TV missile. It's just so strong. Apart from invisible air vehicles like that scout helicopter. I think we may have just missed the top of him or gone through him. Either way, it's a great map to play. It's in the vanilla rotation. You can go back and play this right away. It's always going to be a popular map on Battlefield 4. Will it be one that's remade in the future? I don't think so. It is good, but is it really a true classic? I'm not too sure. I'd say that the central part of it for infantry is really fun. One of those positions where you can get away from the vehicles. There are elevators as well, which always provide some really interesting camping gameplay and the opportunity for an epic only in Battlefield moment. I'm gonna have to get back in this boat in a second because he just won't leave us alone, this enemy attack boat. Let's have a little go back at him. First one dusted, the second shot we've actually managed to hit and disable him. Now we've got an attack jet coming in to help. The attack jet is so strong against enemy boats. Here we go. He's smoking, he's in trouble. We got him out of there. See, sometimes in Battlefield 4 that can be an issue, trying to get out of your base. I don't know if you ever had this in vehicles, but sometimes you just can't get out. The enemy team are so ruthless at pushing you back into your base. You just have to kind of sneak away out, maybe get a teammate to help you like we had there. And then the lock-ons. How I have missed the lock-ons. But he's not going to stand a chance. Rookie pilot. There we go. Taken out. It's just not the way to fly an attack jet. First of all, why are you using a lock-on? And secondly, don't just fly like that. You're an easy target. Every time I'll get you. Thermal again. Picking up a target in the distance. What are we looking at here? LAV, let's smash him with the TV. He's out of here. Maybe we'll get some infantry trying to rush across from Charlie. Again, the thermal is just so strong. All of these enemy players just don't have a chance versus this thermal. Just looking in the distance here. Sometimes you can look at tracer rounds and kind of work out where they're coming from. This is a stealth jet again. Flying slowly. Just... So that's the start of a match. We've already had three jet takedowns. Should have had a chopper takedown. An LAV and another attack boat. I mean, that is why Hainan is so popular. Because you get so many vehicle kills. This is an issue though on Hainan. The only bit of cover you have at this part of the map is just under the bridge. You're forced to get out your boat and repair from time to time. And someone can just steal it from you. Also an attack jet with a good pilot will pretty much destroy you every pass if they want to. I mean, the lock-ons are something that I complained about all the time when playing BF4, but I do know how to deal with them. Uh, rip that guy. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like in BF5 we have the wrong... Oh, I've just been debated by that. I didn't even realise he'd placed slams on the ground. We'll have to get ourselves another boat. That happens sometimes in Battlefield 4. You just get taken out by some gadget or some guy who's picked up some awesome strategy to kill you in a vehicle. So I've managed to get back in the attack boat. Let's see if we can get a couple more TV missiles before uh, maybe finding a server with a few more players in. This one's starting to dry up a little bit. I don't know. On Battlefield 4, I find recently it's kind of difficult to find a full conquest server. Sometimes you do find them, but most of the time people are leaving. Especially the time when I like to play in the evenings. After work, I'll jump on and a lot of people will already just be logging off for the day. I see you there, Scout Chopper. Maybe I'll get a shot on him. He presents himself. I'm just waiting for him to get a little bit higher in the air. That LAV. Just fire through the APS. Sometimes it doesn't actually always work APS. You can get some shots through. Hit him at range. Ah, oh, he's evaded that one. That was a bad shot. I should have led that a little bit more. 
you got to anticipate vehicles moving in this game. And shots are all over the place there. It's quite a good position, this Delta objective, for either team. You have it, Cap. This is what I was waiting for, for him to turn towards me. Easy kill. I just find those shots to be the easiest when they're facing you and they're not looking at you, but they're looking kind of to a target to the side of you. It's the easiest for getting a, basically a free TV hit. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's a little bit quiet, this match. It's not really what I was hoping for. I see that jet in the distance. Try and deal with this guy. Unfortunately, that I really want to go for that stealth jet, but... Got to get a repair in. Hopefully he doesn't steal the boat. No, we're good. For this attack jet first. Yeah, see, he's doing the same thing. Lock on, easy kill. Every time, I'm telling you, every single time they do this. Some pilots just make it too easy. Conquest Small is not a mode you see often on Battlefield 4. And if any of you have ever played, yes, we got the attack heli. If any of you have ever played in the attack heli on Golmud Railway on Conquest Small, you'll know you're in for a treat. This is so unfair on the enemy players, unless they have a good pilot. They might have a good jet pilot, they might have a good attack chopper pilot. By the looks of things, the attack chopper pilot is, uh, I've missed, so I'm not a good gunner either, but he doesn't look to be too good. He's already in quite a lot of trouble here. taken down. You do get locked a little bit, but there's rarely anywhere the enemy team can hide. There's no cover on Golmud at all. There's the stealth jet. He's the second priority for us. Just need my gunner to give me a an angle. Here he is. Easy TV. So they're the two air threats taken out, and now we've got to start looking for infantry on the ground they haven't really got over to the flags yet conquest small is one of these game modes where you kind of have the same map as conquest large just with a couple of flags taken off and you can actually get them with 64 players this one though the server's not quite full up which is a bit of a shame but still nice we are lucky not to get hit then there's some cover got to make the cover work for you in the attack helicopter on this map you just have to use everything that you can just because there's not a massive building there doesn't mean you can't swoop and dive beneath some hills or use some little bits of rock cover tree cover quickly get a repair in before jumping back in what have we got here wow three people sitting in that now i'm going to look for the lock-ons this is the first guy i'm sure there was another lock-on though i can't get that one this is all about pilot and gunner synergy. You've got to understand what your pilot's going to do at any given time. And I'm pretty much in tune with this guy. Corsair, you've probably seen his channel before. He's a good pilot. We've played hundreds of hours in the heli together. So I kind of know what he's doing. Like, I know he's going to do a run here. And he'll go back behind cover again because he's used his ECM. And he'll continue to do these loops. I see in the distance there an attack shot, but I see him. Spot him. Go for an early shot. He's diving, and oh, I've messed that up. I should have pulled down then a lot earlier. Ah, oh, I was trying to do a little jump out of the heli, but I forgot I had the straw. If I had the s'more, it might have been a bit better then. chance. Would have been cool if that hit. It would be nice if I could also get back in the attack helicopter before I get blasted. Alright, let's see if we can take down this enemy chopper. There we go. Oh, nice of dust. <laughs> Just can't get a break. 55 damage. Maybe my pilot hits a Zuni. Alright, he's gone. Now we've got to take down this stealth jet. Don't have a TV. Oh, he's going to get wrecked under here. Oh, no, I'm out of ammo as well. Let's see if we can get him here. No. <laughs> oh, I disabled him. Okay, so at least he's in trouble. Thing is, once you're disabled as a jet, I don't think there's any recovery from that. There's another lock on. Another two guys. That's the chopper guy. 
So he's gone straight out of the chopper, spawned on a flag, and pulled out a lock-on. You see that a lot in this game. <laughs> That's what I mean about this chopper. You can completely control pretty much all of these top flags. You do get some issues with lock-ons, but overall it's, it's a fairly straightforward scenario you've got in front of you. With thermal as well, how it appears the thermal. Oh, that poor guy. He got tow missiled and hit by a TV. Try and work out where these locks are coming from. See if we get a hit marker. There he is. He's in there somewhere. He's in that house. Maybe our tank goes and finds him. Nope. We got him. That's unfortunate. They spawn on that back rock. That's the entire spawn, really, for that flag. When you have a tank on it, it spawns them either in the buildings on one side or behind that rock. So as long as you know that, you can just keep your eye out for it. It's an enemy tank. This could, this could be difficult here. We're in a position now with no ECM. But again, just fly around the side, break line of sight. We'll be fine here. So I thought I'd finish off this live commentary with one more round, or at least one more life in an attack helicopter, this time on Oman. The sandstorm has dropped in. It's pretty poor for visibility, I'm going to be honest. You can't really see a thing. It's absolutely shocking from the sky. It's actually no kills on the ground either, but we'll see if we can get a few kills. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, to be honest. The pilot can't really see anything. And that's a bit of a difficulty when you're playing on a map like this. There's no chance I'm going to be hitting that jet at that sort of range. And again, you just get locked. And Oman is a map when you're really in a lot of trouble if you get locked on the US side. Let's see if we take that guy down. So that's two locks taken down and they're still locking us. So the only bit of cover you have are these buildings on the right side. They have a jet and an attack that they got. Oh. I guess my pilot had enough of flying, so he just slammed it into the ground. Not too sure what happened there. Right, so let's take that attack boat. Let's take that attack boat. So we will finish off the live cobs, I think, with just a little bit in the attack boat. I'll see if I can get some TVs just to wrap this up. That's the one thing this map does really well. Just if you want TV missiles on air vehicles again, the boats are just kind of stuck here on the side, and they get two jets and an attack helicopter, I believe which makes life pretty easy for finding air targets. This guy's going way too slow, and I miss him anyway. There's so many to pick from here, though. I'll, I'll have to get a kill. This is an easy shot. Easy shot. Bang. Attack helicopter down. Let's see if we can get ourselves a jet. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little episode going back and kind of just playing a bit of Battlefield 4, you know, just going back, playing some of the favourite maps, some of my favourite vehicles, favourite modes, just enjoying myself again, slow flying stealth jet, easy kill. Hey, come back. Bye. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.